50 years ago, the city of Bangor launched its first public transportation system. Over the years, there have been several expansions and improvements to the city's community connector buses. Today in downtown, a ribbon cutting ceremony was held in celebration of its new transit center. New Center Maine's Carly Dion has the details. After several years of planning and more than a year of construction, the Bangor Area Transit Center is officially open for business. I love it. Me too. Yeah. It's a winter coming. It's like, yeah. This 2200 square foot facility in Pickering Square features public bathrooms, phone charging stations, digital bus schedules, a warm place to sit and wait for the bus, and lots of excitement over the heated sidewalks, the heated sidewalks, heated sidewalks. And I've never heard of heated sidewalks. <laughs> I'm going to come down and see how those work this winter. The ribbon cutting hosted a number of guest speakers, including bus superintendent Lori Lynn Scott, city council chair Rick Fournier, Department of Transportation Commissioner Bruce Van Note, and Senator Susan Collins, who helped secure funding for the project. Many passengers rely on the trademark red buses to travel to and from work, school, health care appointments, shopping. The Community Connector serves Bangor, Brewer, VZ, Old Town, Orono, and Hamden, now with its central hub being right here in downtown. Superintendent Lynn Scott says she hopes this new facility and brand new buses will ultimately increase ridership. It's a place we've never had before in the history of Community Connector. She adds none of this would have been possible without the team effort that made it happen, like the efforts of Benchmark Construction, working to stick to the schedule despite a number of challenges brought on by the pandemic. We really value community projects. We value offering services to those who need it. And that, that's what's really great about this project. And along with pandemic challenges for this project, the Community Connector is still dealing with a shortage of drivers. Lynn Scott says they recently conducted a CDL training course and have about five new drivers starting next month. But more are still needed to be able to resume Saturday service. I don't have a, a date yet on when I can bring back Saturday service, but trust me, I am working on it every day. Lynn Scott says you can expect a number of additional improvements to technology and bus stops in the coming year. In Bangor, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine. The Transit Center opens officially on Wednesday and will be open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m.